Tomorrow Pictures. The story is in the telling. We're the real hot chicks doing tough things. Your winner by unanimous decision from Decatur, Alabama, Jackie Franklin. Franklin. One pitcher. It's been a very interesting um, past 24 hours. I mean, we all experience various emotions throughout a day, throughout an hour, even throughout a moment. But the the spectrum of emotions and feelings that I've been experience, uh, experiencing, like all at the same time, it's just it's very weird, um, you know. And, and I've been very fortunate to to be surrounded by people that are offering support. So I went back to the dressing room, and I don't think at that point anyone had known about my father. And so she didn't know at that point, I don't think anyone, but because, you know, when I got into the dressing room, I broke down. One of the gentlemen that was helping her in her corner, he had seen me, it was very sweet, but he saw that I was crying, and he said, well, you won, like, why are you upset? And I and I told him, and, and I think he ended up telling my, you know, going and telling her, and so she uh, came back in the room afterwards and just offered her condolences and, and uh, congratulated me again. And I mean, that just speaks volumes for her character. I, I mean, it's, we, we need more people like that, not only in boxing, but in this world. I mean, that's having that, that character. And it was just, um, it was very cool. I think even for people that are offering me the support, which has meant a lot, they're getting a little peek into, they're not even really sure what to say. Like, do I give you my condolences? Do I give you my congratulations? Do I, and, I, you know, my, my response is, <laughs> exactly. We are here for her. We are her boxing family, and we will always be there for each other. I'm trying to make sure I'm at all of her fights. Um, I love working her corner. Jackie's definitely someone I look up to as a person and as a fighter. We had a pretty heavy experience. Um, early on and in the dressing room, I was really worried because uh, I could see that Jackie was lost. Typically, if it's fight time and I'm at the venue, I'm on the fight. I don't have to sit there and say, think about the fight, think about the fight. I'm there, it happens, it's natural. I can't not think about the fight. Um, but my mind was drifting. <laughs> it was definitely drifting, as it had been all day. My past experiences, when I've had to pull myself through events, um, I've been really headstrong. Like, let me lower my shoulders, let me hold my head high, let me push past this. Um, I've got to do this, you know. And it was weird because it was like that was nice as a reminder to me, but I, it was very apparent to me that I, I wasn't going to be able to do that alone. I'd heard Terry in the corner talking throughout the fight, telling me. Um, giving me that, that guidance. And she told me later what happened was she became afraid that um, she, she couldn't do it by herself. So she, out of desperation, just listened to what I said and, and let go of everything that she normally D does in the ring. I need to do everything in my power to make sure that as many people as I can fall in love with Jackie because that's what my job is to make sure that they love her and they want her and they respect her and they think she's beautiful and you know all those things. I guess you can compare it to like if you were lost in the woods and it was dark and all of a sudden you see a, a light um, so that you know your way out of the woods. 
And so I just listened to, I just totally turned into her because I wanted to do it alone. The threat is not coming from the girl across the ring. It's, it's from myself. And so that's really uh, what we focus on a lot, most of the time. I was in there, but I would see things, but too late, or I wouldn't see openings. or So the first 30 seconds, I, I could tell, and it only took about 30 seconds. And then I heard Terry, and that's the only thing I heard for the rest of the fight. I mean, maybe it gave her a, a chance to see what that feels like so that for, for the rest of the fights beyond now, that that will be something she trusts me enough to do, you know? Because I think that's been part of the problem is her just not trusting me in the match, you know, that she could count on what I say to be what needed to be done. I mean, that's probably the best fight I've seen Jackie ever do. She's a sweetie. <laughs> that's all I can say. She did what a real fighter would do. She fought despite everything. She fought with life circumstances, and um, and the girls fought with her. We came, we supported. But there were people. Rhonda drove like four hour, four and a half hours for the fight, worked for the fight, and then drove four and a half hours back, just because we. Uh, there for each other. You know, I think that you know the people around you help a lot in terms of encouraging. You hear a lot of the a lot of the chicks will say, you know, they'll, they'll encourage you on, yell out, you know, sort of shout outs for you. And when you do something well, um, you know, you hear it and it helps. You know, a lot of times when the shit hits the fan, people will, you know, all right, let's go, roll up the sleeves and let's do this together. We are fighting for the same thing. You know, we all love boxing. That's our main passion and. We always there to support that passion. Boxing teaches you about loss. It teaches you about losing and also about winning. You have to be humble in boxing, you're gonna get hurt. You have to remember where you are, where your place is in the gym. It's the same in life and you have to know that you have a worth despite what everyone else thinks. We call the boxing ring the moment. We call it the truth. The ring is the truth because no matter what is in your soul and your subconscious, no matter what you think it might be, no matter what you try to display it as, as soon as you get in that ring, the truth is gonna be bared. This is TomorrowPictures.tv.